Hello, this is Jamar Bono. I want to welcome you to another edition of the Break It Down Brown Daily Breakdown Show. This is a show that takes everyday life issues, topics, and subjects, and we break them down in order to find the deeper meaning behind the things that take place in our lives each and every single day. You can learn more about the Break It Down Brown Show by visiting jamarbrown.com. And just remember, I'm not trying to change your opinion, just your perspective. So today I want to break down the following statement. Turn the sprinklers back on. Once again, turn the sprinklers back on. And the reason why I want to break that down today is because so many times in life, we have dreams and ambitions and things we want to achieve. And for whatever reason, we start, then we stop. And we bury our dreams, we bury our goals, and we stop living the life that we want to live. And there's various reasons for that. Fear may have gotten in the way. You may have heard something negative that derailed you, or you had a setback, and you can never get over that setback. And so today I want to talk about how can we press the restart button on our dreams and our goals in life, and how can we get back on the fast track for becoming the people that we were put on this earth to become? And the way I do it is I tell stories that are based on real life issues, and I use those stories as a metaphor for how we can accomplish the things we want to accomplish in life. So today I want to break down the following statement, turn the sprinklers back on as it relates to how we can once again get back to the path of achieving our goals and dreams in life. Well, several years ago, my wife and I bought a beautiful home in Southern California, and I was responsible for the outside of the house. And I had this vision of having this great landscaping done with these beautiful trees and, and flowers and plants. And I built a walkway in the front and we built a, uh, a jacuzzi with, with back jets and foot jets and a, and, and a fire pit in the backyard. And of course, you had to have the barbecue and it was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And our neighbors would come by and say how beautiful the outside of the house was, which I was very proud of because that was sort of my vision that I was able to hire a contractor to make a reality for me. And I want you to think about that in terms of your vision for your life and your goals and your dreams, because you see this beautiful picture in your mind. You see exactly what you want it to be. And and, and there's people there that can help you achieve your dreams and goals. And so that's exactly what I did with my yard outside. And it was absolutely beautiful. Now, I want you to understand something. I am not someone who really knows how to take care of plants and trees and things like that. All I really know how to do is to turn the sprinklers on or set the timer, actually. And then we have a gardener that comes once a week to kind of landscape everything and and keep everything beautiful. And so what happened was we had a rainstorm in Southern California, one of the very few we've ever had uh, in my entire life here. And it rained for days. It was just one of those weird, weird situations. And, And we had planned a trip to Palm Springs, a little family vacation. And so... During this rainy season, which only lasted a couple days, I turned the sprinklers off because I didn't want to over water the yard and I wanted to save money on the water bill. So I turned the sprinklers off and then my family and I drove out to Palm Springs for about a week or so. And wouldn't you know it, typical Southern California, during the middle of that week, we had a major heat wave. The weather changed drastically from raining and storming to literally in the low hundreds and super hot. And here's the interesting thing. I forgot that I had turned the sprinklers off at our house and in our yard. And so when we got back from this vacation (laughs) several days later, I could immediately tell that everything in the front yard looked dry and was, you know, the, the, the dirt was, was cracking and it just looked really bad. But I was more concerned with the backyard because that's where we had planted all these beautiful flowers and and plants. I can't even tell you what brands there were, what what style of flowers. I just know that they were absolutely beautiful. Well, I walked back there and guess what? Everything looked absolutely dead. And I was upset. My wife was upset. And I just felt like, you know, bad because I turned the sprinklers off and the heat wave hit. And all of a sudden, every beautiful plant and flower in our yard was their dead, or at least in my mind, they look dead. And so I didn't know what to do, right? And uh, because I spent quite a bit of money and and getting everything the way I wanted it to be. And so all I did was I called my gardener. I said, this is what happened. The sprinklers were off, you know, for several days, you know, and everything is dead. And I was complaining to him. I said, what can you do? How can you fix it? 
And he said, the first thing you need to do is turn the sprinklers back on. Turn the sprinklers back on. And that is exactly what I did. And he was going to come out several days later to come and try and check on things. And it was amazing to me that after a couple days of having the sprinklers turned back on and, and having my yard watered, that these plants and flowers that I thought were dead started to grow again and started to have signs of, of life. And then my gardener was able to come out and, and, and pull the weeds and do some different things. And, and, and the yard started to look like it used to when I had the vision originally of having this beautiful yard that unfortunately was affected by me turning the sprinklers off in the heat wave, but it started to come back to life. And today it's just this beautiful, beautiful yard. And the reason why I wanted to break that down today is because it really relates to our dreams and goals in life. And sometimes we turn the sprinklers off, meaning that we set out to do something. We have a goal, we have a vision, we have a dream. And if for whatever reason we stop and we feel that the dream has died and we lose the ambition and we lose the drive to go for it and we just think that all has been lost, why even put forth the effort? Why keep trying? And we bury our dreams and our goals and our ambitions in life. And it's just like looking at the yard with the sprinklers turned off and you think that everything is dead. You think that there's no more hope. You think that what's the point? I tried and failed. It was supposed to be this, but it, but the reality is it's something different. So why even try? And what I want to encourage each and every one of you to do today, and that is to turn the sprinklers back on. What does that mean? That means that even though I had turned the sprinklers off in my yard, the plants that were, or the seeds that were planted for the flowers and, and for the plants, the seeds were still there and they went into like this protective mode. They weren't dug up by some animal and carried away. They were still in the ground and they were waiting for me to come back and give them life again, to breathe life into them. And they were ready to show me that if I took care of them and I, and I watered the seeds and I, and I had the gardener come and, and, and take out the weeds, that they were going to produce something magical, something beautiful for me and my family to enjoy. And that is exactly what happened. And that's exactly what can happen when you start today to water the seeds of your dreams again. When you start to take action towards the things that you want to achieve in life again. When you decide that the seed is still there, and I know you feel it because each of us in our hearts, our minds, our souls, our spirit, we're being called to do something. I know you feel it. I sense it from you right now as I'm talking. We all have that. We may have buried it. Life may have gotten in the way. We may have experienced setbacks and challenges. We may have tried and quote unquote failed. People may have ridiculed us. People may have said, I told you so when you try something and it didn't work out. All that is true. And all that really happened was, guess what? You just turn the sprinklers off. And that's okay because sometimes it happens. Actually, far too often it happens for most people in this world. We turn the sprinklers off. And I'm challenging you today to turn the sprinklers back on. I don't care what it is in your vision that you want to achieve, you want to become, you want to try. Take action towards it today. And the metaphor is turn the sprinklers back on. If there's a book you've been thinking about writing for years and years and years and you haven't taken action in a long time and you're starting to think, well, why even try? You know, who am I to be an author? Who am I to be a writer? Who's going to care about what I write? What I'm here to tell you right now that there are thousands and maybe millions of people that need you to write that book. And all you have to do is to start. Take out your pen, take out the paper, write it down. One of the things I teach people when I coach them about writing books, I've written three books so far, is you don't even have to write anything anymore. You can take an audio recorder on your phone and record your thoughts, record your ideas, and then hire somebody to transcribe them for you, hire an editor, hire somebody to create the book cover, and you have a book. So there really is no excuse for you not to get going in. Maybe there's somebody in your life you 
wanted to reconnect with and, and you lost touch with over the years. Maybe it was a good friend of yours or a family member and you turn their sprinkler off and you say, what's the point? They're not going to really care about me anymore. They don't want to rekindle this relationship or build the friendship again. And, and what I want you to do is turn the sprinkler back on. Give them a call. Send them an email. Send them a text. Reach, them out, reach out to them on Facebook because I guarantee somewhere deep in their mind, in their heart, they're waiting for you to reach out to them. But someone has to turn the sprinkler on. Somebody has to take action. Maybe there's another idea that you have for creating a business or, or, or something of that nature. And, 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 and you start it and you realize that your finances were, were tight. You realize that the regulations were a bit overwhelming. You realize that there was way too much to, to go into it and, and it scared you and, and you walked away from it. But you know when you meditate at night and, you, and you're by yourself and you're thinking about your life that you have that little seed inside you for that business idea that you've always thought about, that you've always wanted to do. And for whatever reason, you turn the sprinklers off. And that's okay. I want you to feel okay with it because sometimes when we experience setbacks in life and things don't quite work out, we don't give ourselves permission to say, that's okay. We beat ourselves up. We feel guilty. Just like when I walked home and I drove it to my house and I realized that the sprinklers had been turned off by me. I can't tell you the guilt I felt because I spent so much money on my yard and I wanted it to be beautiful for my wife and my daughter and I wanted us to enjoy it. And I thought about us being in this house for years to come and I thought, oh, man, I really screwed this up. I messed this up. I was left in charge of the yard and I failed in my responsibilities and it really hurt for a little bit until the gardener said, turn the sprinkler back on. And I trusted the gardener who was, quote unquote, a mentor of mine. That's how I want you to look at it. There's mentors in your life that come in and, and guide you and teach you. And I encourage everyone to find mentors and, and coaches or whatnot that can help them. They could teach them what they need to do to get to where they need to get to. And like I said, I'm not, you know, a Dr. Green Thumb or whatever, but my gardener is. And so I went to him for advice. And so you got to go to the right people for the right advice. But my point is, he gave me the right advice, and I trusted in his words, and I trusted that he's somebody that knew what he was talking about. So if I turn the sprinklers back on, things will start to grow again. And it took a few days, but guess what? The flowers bloomed. And that's exactly what will happen with you. It may not happen immediately. It may take some time. But guess what? Keep watering the seeds. Keep taking action. Trust in the process. If you do what you're supposed to do, if you water the seeds of your dreams, if you find mentors and coaches and advisors that can guide you in the right direction, that can help you do what you need to do, just trust in the process. As James Allen once wrote in his famous book, As a Man Thinketh, basically he said that you can't get something back that is different than what you put into it. <laughs> Meaning that if you put in love and caring towards your dreams and you water the seeds of your dreams and you follow the advice of the right mentors that can help you and guide you and teach you what you need to do. And if you stay consistent, if you stay intent, if you stay focused and if you do exactly what you're supposed to do, you will get out of it exactly what you put into it. And that's the whole Point. Now, will there be some weeds? Will there be some things that happen as a result that want to derail you? Absolutely. That's life. It's inevitable. But remember, if you water the seeds of your dreams, if you stay focused, if you stay committed, good things will always happen. So I want to thank you today for breaking it down with me. Once again, you can learn more about the Break It Down Brown Show by visiting jamarbrown.com. And I look forward to getting your feedback on my Break It Down Brown Daily Breakdown show. If you have any other thoughts and ideas that you would like me to break down, uh, please let me know. But once again, keep watering the seeds of your dreams. Keep watering the seeds of your dreams.